So I'm trying to keep track of all of my purchases, uh, grocery purchases specifically, for 2023. I picked up 20 pounds of this ground pork. And I paid $8.75 out of pocket for my 20 pounds. But that is because I had a $25 gift card to this place that was given to us for Christmas and I just haven't used it yet which is very unlike me as soon as I get um, uh, gift cards I like to use them because I'm terrified of them disappearing so anyway <laughs> I ended up um, doing that today I have about 20 pounds of Italian sausage here I shared with my sister and I do tend intend to share with a friend, but um, yeah, eight dollars and seventy-five cents from my own pocket went into this twenty pounds of ground sausage. I had company over this day, and there was just so much going on, so I'm going to do a voiceover. Picked up a loaf of bread. This made peanut butter sandwiches for the kid I babysit. I saw this one on sale, so I threw that into the freezer. Um, I picked up a dozen eggs. We were pretty much out. Needed that. Uh, bananas go great as snacks or smoothies. This is beef that I picked up for my sister. It was on sale for $2.97 a pound, so I grabbed it for her. We needed some shampoo. We used up a lot of our little bits and pieces in the pantry challenge. This was in the clearance thing, so I picked up all of those. These will be really handy to have when you just need to pop it in some hot water before you leave. Um, the cheese was something I was going to need uh, during this next month, and it was on sale. Grabbed a couple of milk, especially needed the oat milk for coffee. The next milk was my free thing. Um, picked up a pie crust to make a blueberry pie for my sister's birthday. And of course, wine. Wine was definitely needed. And then I picked up some Greek yogurt to carry us through the next week. Okay, well, even though we're headed towards the end of the month, I'm going to continue on with the Three Rivers Challenge. I don't know. I... Mm, you should see that video now about uh, oh, life. Okay, so here's another haul. Wrapping up February purchases. Um, I went to help a mama with kids and I was like, okay, I'm going to go in. I do need um, a couple of things. Mainly some chicken tonight because I forgot to take some out of the freezer. And I kind of just browsed and saw what they had. So that's kind of what this haul is. And mainly... Some of it was mainly to restock and fill in some gaps that we have. Um, I just realized I don't have everything on here, so let me go do that really quick. Um, there are a lot of snacks and junk food in this thing that really wasn't necessary. Just gonna say that. Um, so you guys can leave all the comments down below if you so desire. All right. Eggs. Eggs were $2.49 a dozen. And so I grabbed three. I would have liked to have gotten more. Um, but I know that they are trying to limit. Alright, so I got three dozen of those. I picked up one thing of brown sugar. One thing that I learned this pantry challenge is that I do like to have this on hand. Yes, I can make my own. But I do like to have some on hand. It just is helpful in a tight situation where you have to throw something together. Now, I have been just throwing, you know, if it says one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, I just do two cups of sugar, and then I throw a teaspoon of molasses in the mixture. Doesn't always work. So, here we go. There's that. Boom. Moving on. My son's paying me back for these. This is their love of the life. They have a one weakness for that. So, there is that. There were these half, gal half and half pints for a dollar. I'm just going to take a little bit off the top and put those in the freezer for when I need them. That has always been just a huge help. Chicken for dinner tonight at $2.49 a pound. Not the best deal, but definitely cheaper than takeout or anything else. This was my great find of today. These are half pound things of butter for a dollar a box. That made it $2 a pound for butter. It's unsalted, which is not my favorite. I don't care. At $2 a pound, I was able to take a case and she was happy to do that. So phenomenal. I'm going to restock the freezer from all of the butter that I've been using this pantry challenge. I grabbed these for my daughter. 
They do not have the best ingredients, but they are something quick and easy that she can drink first thing in the morning because we've been dealing with some heart things again. So my goal in the morning is just to get some protein in her first thing. Drinks are the easiest, so that's what we're doing. And I grabbed a chai tea. I really like a good dirty chai. And if you don't know what that is, that's basically a chai tea with a shot of espresso. So I got that. I also really want to make some chai tea cookies. I've heard those are amazing. My daughter's absolute favorite yogurts are these Ui yogurts. And they had key lime, which is also one of her absolute favorites. So I grabbed that and she's already gotten into it. Coffee running low after the pantry challenge. So I did pick up one. I just picked up one. Tuck it in the back of the freezer. It really wasn't like a restock haul. Um, it was just to kind of fill in a little bit. I grabbed two pie crusts. These were two for a dollar. I will probably be sharing one with a friend, but these work for uh, pot pies to kind of use up some of that uh, beef stew that's not our favorite. So I have that for that, and I know she also does the food pantry, so I grabbed one for her. This is for the, mainly for the kid I babysit, but honestly the two youngest kids have been enjoying it. Um, I will probably tuck those away because this would be really good for park, park times. All right, and then they had these for 75 cents. Again, I'm just going to put some in Ziploc bags. These are great when I have visitors of little babies over here, which is quite often. And so this is like a really easy snack for them. Clean one, eat two. And then I picked up one thing of juice. And two bags of these uh, white corn chips. These were a dollar a bag. So like I said, this really isn't... Um, like a good purposeful haul to kind of wrap this month up, but it does like, this was a fantastic thing. When I'm there, I pick these up for them. They pay me back. It's something there. Um, <clears throat> eggs, the eggs was one of the biggest reasons to go there. Something for dinner tonight was another good reason to go there. And honestly, I was hoping they had some pie crust. So that was great. And then anytime they have the Starbucks um, coffee, I need to kind of stock up because they don't always have them anymore. And this price is, Fantastic, and coffee's my one weakness. I am not ready to give that up. So, that's it. So, I'm still doing the pantry challenge. However, I did need to pick up a few things today. Um, I did need to pick up a few things today just to kind of get us till when I decide to stop. Um, we're doing really well at kind of using up certain items on the shelves and whatnot, freezers and whatnot, so um, I kind of want to just keep going and we'll talk about that here at another time. Um, so let's discuss this. Um, really needed one of these. I broke my one a couple weeks ago and yeah, I have not been able to find one at the thrift store, so grabbed one of those. It's kind of a needed kitchen gadget. I use it all the time. What are you doing? Oh, the keys. No, never now. Go play. Go play. Go. All right. Um, this is the main reason why we needed something from the store. I've been borrowing my sister's soy sauce. Um, soy sauce does have wheat in it, and these this does not. So one for now, one for later. That's just always what I do with liquid aminos because we have been in a situation where we can't get it. And liquid aminos is like my vanilla extract. It's used just as much and loved just as much. So, there's that. Picked up a thing of cilantro. I plan on having some taco soup this week. And that's a necessity in my book. And also I've noticed uh, there was one other bunch besides this. So, more frequently we are seeing not able to get as much cilantro as I would like. Olives are my one weakness and they are so expensive. They have doubled in price. So these are almost two dollars a can. I remember the good old days when I would buy them for 99 cents a can on sale. Oh, those were the days. And we picked up some cucumbers just to kind of give us a little bit more greens. Like for lunch today we did um, salads the salad from the um, haul that I posted where my friend blessed us with a box of stuff. So anyway, 
that's kind of been helping. This was free, so I just picked these up and I set them aside for sick days and whatnot. And then um, I need to drive my sister down to the big city, and I thought this would be a really good, um, easy meal for the babysitter for that time. Okay, well that is it. Um, uh, there was pro this is probably a little over twenty dollars just in the food. This was about six dollars, and we'll add this to February's grocery haul. All right. And keeping up with, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think. And keeping up with grocery hauls. Here is what I purchased today. I actually purchased a 15 dozen box of eggs at my local Amherst salvage store. 15 dozen eggs was 22.50. I also picked up a dollar fifty, half and half A2 A2 milk. I'll use that for my coffee, but I was super excited about seeing that deal, so I grabbed it. But I mainly went in for the eggs. They advertise on Facebook, and eggs are so dear and precious. So, um, the 15 dozen isn't just for us. I share with people in town. I share with people in my church. So that brings my total to $25, and um, just I'm just I'm just so happy about these eggs right now. It is on a good week where we're not trying to ration anything. We can easily go through five dozen eggs just in breakfasts um, per week. So super happy about this. I'm going to go put this away. And yeah, there's one more $25 added to the stuff I've purchased in February. trying to keep track of all that we've purchased in 2023. This seems like a small and insignificant uh, grocery haul, but every little bit adds up, right? So I picked up one of these, $2.99. Um, I'm going to have the little baby that I used to babysit um, more as a friend kind of babysitting thing. And um, this is one of the things that he loves. And then it works really well for two of, uh, like, my youngest son and the other boy that I babysit. So this is going to be used this week. Um, it was on sale, and it's kind of a treat thing. Um, I picked up one thing of English muffins, the sourdough ones. I'm going to make little pizzas with this um, the day that I have that babysitting because it's also food truck day. So I was going for quick, easy, simple, etc., I picked up two things of cream cheese. I thought these were like $2.69 for both, but I don't think they rang up that way in my receipt. Um, my son and I, who was with me, we split a kombucha, and oh man, it was good. And then I picked up these three things. So I have uh, teens that are working all this week, and so I figured this would be something really quick and easy for them. So I will open this up. Um, I will not open this up. I was like, oh, put it in the freezer. No, I didn't do that. I only got three because we're trying to clean out our freezer. And this will just be used. My son works tomorrow, and my son and my daughter work on Wednesday, Thursday, something like that. So, that's why I picked up these. Everything came to $14, I think. So, um, that's it for this time, and I will see you next time. Okay, keeping track of what I purchased in February. I forgot to defrost some meat last night. So I went over to my community market, found something affordable, and this is gonna play a part in our lunch today. Well, I was hoping to finish February without another haul, but such is life. Today is the 26th. Can I make up the rest of the week without going to the grocery store? That will be the challenge. Okay, so I went today for a few things. One is I'm bringing a meal to um, a mama that just had a baby. I'm making one of her favorites, and I didn't realize we were out of lemons. So grab some lemons. We are completely out of hydrogen peroxide, and it is a staple in our home, so I grabbed that. I needed more. Um, I use These are everyday wipes, but you can use them as baby wipes. So I have some of that, and they're cheaper than the baby wipes. 
Um, and then the other thing that we needed was these. We're going to use these to start our garden. This is the cheapest way to do it for... I know a lot of people do the red solo cups. My mother-in-law did it with these because they're easier to poke holes in at the bottom. And um, I could get a whole lot... I think I got 10 more, 10 more cups for almost 50 cents cheaper. So I went this route and we're going to get started on our seeds. Um, this was in the clearance, so I grabbed this to do another batch of either a tuna salad or chicken salad uh, for lunches this week. So we'll put that aside. Um, this is for our lunch today. It's Sunday and so um, I pulled it out to do um, salami and crackers and all that kind of stuff. So um, I was completely out. And since we were there, I just picked up another one. Um, I don't know if we have enough leftovers for lunch. So that was kind of a good backup. And then this was in the clearance. And then I bought it, had $2 back on it. And so that made it like a dollar. So... Um, that's what I got. Um, in addition to what you see here, I grabbed um, a pair of circular knitting needles for my daughter. She needed a size that I didn't have. And, oh, uh, some chips that we ate home in the car. Um, and I grabbed this from the dollar store because it was $1.25 and Walmart is like three something. So that was better for me there. Also, I went to look for some more oat milk. Um, and what? Have a picnic outside. Is that nice? Wow. Um, the oat milk or any milk for that matter. So almond, oat, coconut right now is five four ninety nine, four ninety nine for a half gallon right now. <sighs> so we will see what happens next, and uh, that should be a wrap for this month.